Eleven, the remains of an unclaimed World War II and Korean War veteran are now being honored in a very special way. A group of local veterans is making sure he will get his last wish to be buried in Kentucky right next to his own mother. ABC Action News reporter Wendy Lane is getting a first-hand look at the amazing efforts to get this American hero to his final resting spot. He was a little bit rough around the edges. He was a big fan of uh, John Wayne. He had a tough guy image. That's because Colonel Wallace Taylor was a tough guy. Colonel Taylor was a combat veteran during World War II and the Korean War. He had his opinion and he also had your opinion as well. Rob Lynch works at James A. Haley Veterans Hospital where the Colonel was a patient. But that's what I loved about him. He, he just say how it is. But Colonel Taylor outlived all of his family. And when he passed away at the age of 96 a few weeks ago, there was no one to claim his body. This tough guy's final wish? To be buried with the cremated remains of his dogs along with the blanket his mom made him and to be buried next to her in Kentucky. When you hear the story, it, it just means the world. And it's a story that's far from over. How far? About a thousand miles. The Combat Veterans Motorcycle Association has made it their mission to adopt unclaimed veterans and give them a proper military burial. Give us peace. They're our brothers and sisters and they have no one else to do it. Today, Colonel Taylor's life was honored outside of the James A. Haley Veterans Hospital. I could see him right now looking down and him saying, Robert, it's about dang time the VA did something right. Now, dozens of riders are giving Colonel Taylor a military procession all the way to Kentucky. He'd be in tears right now. Where other veterans and law enforcement will join them along the multi-day journey. It's not really a sad day. He was 96 years old. He lived a long, full life. For us, it's, it's a rolling celebration of life. The group even made a coin in the Colonel's honor to commemorate the 1,000-mile journey of veterans coming together to honor one of their own. Colonel Taylor's story will forever be told. And let's look around. Apparently, it's a story people want to hear. Colonel Taylor's funeral will be held in Louisville on Sunday. In Tampa, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News.